Good morning, everybody. Today, I am pleased to announce the details of the Department of Energy's LED Exchange Initiative. Starting on May 1st and running as long as supplies last, members of the public will be able to bring one incandescent bulb, <coughs> excuse me, to participating re retailers and exchange it for one efficient, clean, and cool LED bulb, free of charge. Government has committed sufficient resources to allow about 30% of all households to participate in this very important initiative. Participating retailers include ATS LED supplies, Baptist Building Supplies, Encon, ESC Lighting, Gorham's, Lindo's in Devonshire and Warwick, Marketplace, Heron Bay, Shelley Bay and Hamilton Stores, Masters Limited, Telford Electric, and the Greenhouse Bermuda. And I'm happy to have some of the participants here with me today. So we're very excited about this and their willingness to participate in this very important initiative that we put together together. By working with local retailers, we found that the LED equivalent to a standard 60 watt A19 bulb was the most that is used by most households and is the most popular choice for most customers. An LED equivalent uses about 9 watts as opposed to 60 watts for a regular incandescent bulb. What that means in dollars and cents is that using a 60 watt incandescent bulb for say five hours a day equates to spending $46 each year to run that light. Switching to an LED equivalent to what 60 watt incandescent bulb will cost is about $6.90 for a year. That adds up to 85% less energy being used. At an average cost of $6 each, a single LED would pay for itself within just a few months. And after that, the savings just will accumulate over time. LEDs have a longer lifespan than incandescent bulbs, lasting about 50,000 to 100,000 hours as compared to incandescents that last 1,200 hours. Though an incandescent bulb may seem like a better choice when comparing the initial cost that you would pay, it actually winds up costing customers more to use and more to replace. We need to rethink how we spend our hard-earned money, taking into account operating and life cycle costs. Some argue that LEDs just do not look nice or that they are not the same size or the same style. I can assure you that is no longer the case. LED technology has improved very much over the recent years where there is a staggeringly large variety of choice in colors and shapes available. There is probably right now an LED bulb for every type of bulb other than maybe a very small category of maybe commercial types of bulbs anywhere that you can get in Bermuda and anywhere that you might want to buy a bulb. This LED initiative will allow customers to try out at no risk. What we are proposing in our initiative is a like for like swap so the public can have a taste of what they might use for other fixtures in their homes. The Department of Energy has worked diligently with our local retailers on this initiative to show the public that energy efficiency doesn't have to be an inconvenience or burdensome to anyone. We don't have to sit around in the dark just to cut your power bills. Energy efficiency is actually good for everyone and we want to invest in this process for Bermudians to show that it is accessible, 
affordable, and also equitable. All participating retailers will have a poster, like what you see here today, in the store indicating customers that they are a participating vendor. Supplies will, of course, be limited, and the limit is one bulb per customer. But bringing in your old bulbs is a part of the process. As another goal is for the initiative is to eliminate the old technology and replace it with the new technology. Accompanying that new bulb will be a leaflet, like what you see here today, with information about LEDs so that the customer can learn more about the choices that are available, how to select the right LED bulb for their needs, and all the benefits from using LED bulbs. We hope that the public will take advantage of this very unique opportunity to see and experience how energy efficiency can be and work for them. Historically, energy efficiency and conservation is not something that we have focused on here in Bermuda. Some of our high energy use can be attributed to the high standard of living that we enjoy. Most homes in Bermuda have air conditioning. Almost all modern conveniences, such as refrigeration, laundry, and dishwashers. Bermudians also have the highest penetration of internet in the world at 98%. And the rest of the Caribbean islands similar to us have only half of that. Recently, our electricity is second only to the island of Cayman. And that's because they have to have year-round electricity because of their climate. It's warm all year round, so they need to have air conditioning on all year round. So they're the only country that we are perhaps chasing in our statistics around this. In short, we feel the pinch. Everybody feels the pinch when it comes to those very high electricity bills. Our goal is to bring down electricity costs for all consumers and to decrease, decrease energy demand for all, which would allow more dollars to stay in your pocket. And for our economy, it is much better. And also, it is better than our country spending millions of dollars on foreign oil. Thank you.